I think in terms of films, it's up there with one of the best we've ever done. Yeah. When I really, I really, I'm, I'm surprised at just how epic it all feels. It's, it's quite special there because it's hot and dry and d the size when you're British absolutely make us believe even a Texan would say that yeah. it was big. Well, three and a half million acre farm. 3.25. Three and a half top game mats. That's oh, three yeah. and a half right there. It's quite interesting Which if you is look four. at the, we've got in the programme a map of the Northern Territories and you think that's quite big and then a big drive. But if you put that on the map of the whole of Australia, it's like we've driven from my house to the West End of London. Mm -hmm. It's just nothing. It's so huge. Do you know, I don't know how far we drove. It was about a thousand miles. It's a bit more. That far. It's a bit more than a thousand. No, it wasn't a thousand. It was a million miles. It doesn't matter. We drove a very a long miles. way. And it was almost all of it on gravel roads. Often the, you get the washboard. The, 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 the dust was phenomenal. As James pointed out at one point, there was so, you couldn't even breathe if you had been behind one of the cars, particularly my BMW, which got big fat back tyres, and yet the end, the car behind was breathing this dust and yet still working. And then we went cattle herding in them after we'd raced them up a mine. Because you genuinely wouldn't expect them to survive what we put them through. I mean, it's, it was staggering. The temperature alone, I without the dust, the dust and the vibration. The dust is the amazing thing, because dust is basically sandpaper before it's been put onto paper. We went to the iron ore mine, and it was a fantastic place to be, that mine. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, because Everybody was there. It felt like you were part of a big family. And my God, it was good fun watching, as we've discovered, James cheating. Again, because cheated. James May is a cheat. He's a cheat. He's a che he is a cheat. He, he cheated cheat. at Monopoly. He did. I knew that the viewers wanted the spectacle, so... Uh, oh, it's true. I must say, again. the GTR going up that <laughs> hill exactly. is one of the sights I will yeah. take with me to my grave. Everybody thinks Australia is sort of rugged and rrr, and they don't care. Like I don't care about no something money on, on my head. There's nowhere on earth you experience health and safety rules yeah. quite like Australia. They love it. Even there, I mean, there was there were only the people who work on the mine there. It's not like somebody could happen by and bust them for not wearing a high vis. It is only them. They still put everything on. It was the lecture. The lecture was very strong. On, you know, we must be seen and be seen. Oh, I love a briefing. I love it when we all have to sit down and have a briefing. It's the ruination of the world. I also love the drag race we had because... That was the best drag race we've ever had. Normally it's clear. The word inexorable was designed for the way the BMW caught the Bentley. It was just this... I am going to get you. It's just going to take a while, but I'll get there. The power of that BMW has to be experienced to be believed. But what was fun about that drag race was, although it happened very quickly, we were going very fast, the actual event, the overtaking of the Bentley by the BMW, happened very slowly because you were hauling me in. So I was... No! Well, they were out of their comfort zone. That was, the, no, I mean, no, that was a really, long way out of their comfort zone. As we zone. said, Hammonds was designed for the car park at Old Trafford. Mays was designed for the, the Nuremberg ring, and mine was designed to go from Monaco to, to Munich. Well, so we, you would have thought that the car makers responsible for them would design them to simply do that. But they've designed them, they've over-engineered them so much that they can actually herd cows. Yeah, somebody <laughs> somewhere has thought, but what if somebody <laughs> who owns a massive cattle farm in Australia buys one? We'd better make sure it can do that, and it can. Cow! Yes, cows! 